Twins, Wizards, Witches and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. And today's video is something I have wanted to do for quite a while. So many of you guys have obviously seen my Harry Potter collection video. That might be the video that brought you to my channel originally. Uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's so popular. I really wanted to do a video that spoke about my top 10 favorite pieces of Harry Potter merch slash memorabilia because I have got a lot and I cannot wait to show you. Some of the things are so cool and my collection is always growing so I'm gonna be showing you them from number 10 to number one which is gonna be my favorite piece. So let's get on with it. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click this subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. So let's get on with it because I've got 10 awesome amazing things to show you. I really couldn't decide what to put at number 10. It was between two things so I might show you them both anyway so it's actually like my top 11. But yeah so the first thing that I love which is one of my top things is the Slytherin Locket. This is from Noble Collection. I will leave links to everything down below if it's still available to buy. Um, so yeah, this is the Slytherin Locket and it comes in this little stand, but obviously you can take it out and wear it. The only reason that I do not wear it is because I'm not a Slytherin. I wish I was purely so that I could wear this. So it comes on quite a long chain, which isn't quite silver. It's more like a matte steely metal. I don't know how you'd describe that, but yeah, this is the locket and it's absolutely beautiful. I love, oh, I just love it. Like there's so many layers to it when you see it in real life and it does open. Um, I think I struggled to open this the first time that I bought it. After having a little bit of a battle with it, I managed to open it. So yes, it does in fact open to two frames which you can fill with photographs of your own or you can just leave it blank if you like. It's kind of like velvet inside but I've just left it blank. I didn't really want to put anything inside of it but I, I just love that it actually works as a real locket. So we have the Slytherin uh, logo on the front like the S with a snake and loads of symbols and on the back you also have lots of kind of like scribe writing and it's just really pretty. So this was top 10. So this is number 10 of the list and let's see what's next. Oh, and the other thing that I wasn't sure whether to put at number 10 before I forget was not necessarily merchandise, which is why I didn't put it at number 10, but was thinking about it, was the original Harry Potter book that I read and that introduced me to the Wizarding World. And it's really old now. It's the pages have gone yellow. It looks, it looks ancient. I feel like I need to get it a walking stick. But this is actually one of the copies that has this wizard on it. Uh, a lot of the later editions had Dumbledore, but I have a wizard with a brown beard like sucking a pipe <laughs> or puffing a pipe. So yeah, this is my very first book and I treasure this dearly, but I didn't put it as number 10 because I don't clash books as much, but I wanted to talk about it anyway. So let's move on to number nine. Okay, so number nine is one of my treasured collectibles because I don't think these are available anymore. This is my Dolores Umbridge Kitten Teacup on a saucer. I originally bought this from the studio tour in London and I fell in love with it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's China, so it's it's not plastic or anything. I just love it. And I have tried to look to see if you can still get this anywhere, even on a eBay. Like sometimes you can find them on eBay, but I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Have you seen these in shops? Let me know down below. I'd love to know if they're still available, but I'm pretty sure that it was like a limited run or something. So I do love this very much. I don't drink out of it. It's purely just to admire. It's a little bit dusty. I do dust everything on my shelf on a regular basis. So yeah, this is at number nine. I just think it's really cute. It has the same kitten on each side. And yeah, you could really imagine uh, Umbridge having this on her desk, but the kitten moving. I wish the kitten moved. <laughs> Next up at number eight is probably something that's not like, ooh, wow, but I always wanted some of these and it's definitely one of my favorite things that I have on my bookshelves and it is Luna Lovegood's Spectrospects. Um, yeah, I love these. Uh, you're gonna see the reflections 
of my lights in it but yeah I don't wear them but I just think they're so cool because these would be just like the ones that she wore and yeah oh it's so cool everything's purple when you kind of just, just look around she could pretend to be Luna so this comes in at number eight just because I personally really love the look of them and Oh, I just love them. I love Luna. I have a Luna obsession. Next up at number seven is something that's not that old within my collection. This is fairly new. I believe I got it at Christmas. This is the Chocolate Frog Ceramic Trinket Dish inside. <laughs> that should not be in there. It's a fake nose ring, so I'll just put that over there. So yeah, it's a ceramic chocolate frog trinket dish. This costs 20 pounds. They do still sell these, I believe. So if you go to the studio tour, definitely go check them out. I do not think that you can buy these online unless you have a look on eBay, but oh, they're so beautiful. I love them. You probably you can probably get them at Universal Orlando as well, the Wizarding World. Um, oh yeah, this is one of my favorite things. I just love ceramic pieces um, and I could not resist this because it's just so magical looking and so cute and I love the metallic font on it I just love everything about it I have about three chocolate frogs in the cardboard but this is just so much better moving on to number six we're almost getting halfway through my top ten so my next favorite Harry Potter piece is the Horcrux ring which belonged to Marvolo gaunt and oh it's got the resurrection stone in it and actually when you take this off because you can actually take this out of its little stand you can't wear it it's too big it's definitely not to be worn unless you have like it just wouldn't be comfortable to wear but the stone the resurrection stone actually has the deathly hallows symbol in it which i just think is a really nice detail and it's just cool like I've, I've got I've got a horcrux um I will probably get around to doing a horcrux collection but most of the ones I do have are probably in this video anyway so that is <laughs> number six and ooh, and this is where it lives in its little case this is also from noble collection and I just love it I love things that you could take out of the film and just have in your bedroom or your house. Um, I love it. Number five, that's right, we are halfway through my top 10. Now I've wanted this piece for so long, I'm talking like maybe a couple of years, and I just didn't buy it. I was umming and ahhing about it. I even got the people at the studio tour gift shop to get it out of a box and let me hold it and properly have a look at it, but I just didn't buy it back then, but it has been on my list and I decided I needed it, so here it is. This is the crystal goblet from the cave, the one that Dumbledore has to drink out of in order to get hold of the Horcrux that they're looking for, and it's just beautiful. I don't know if you can see in here, it's like pearlescent or iridescent, but it's like blue and it's so nice. It's, it's really nice quality. It looks like I've grabbed it out of Dumbledore's hand and just run off with it <laughs> or swam off with it, whatever. So yeah, this is beautiful. It's made out of, I believe, resin. It's not made out of crystal, although I wish, I really wish that it was or glass or something, but it's really, really pretty. It looks like an authentic, prop from the film and it fills me with so much joy um this is so pretty i'm not sure where i'm going to display it yet obviously it's going to go on my shelves of joy but for now oh, i'm just going to appreciate it a lot so yes this is number five coming in at number four which is my favorite number just saying um this is another piece from noble collection and Oh, it's another Horcrux. This is the Hufflepuff cup and it's so glorious. I was quite amused when I bought this because I was told that you cannot drink out of this and they put a hole in it. I think I may have tried to show you this before when I bought it, but yeah, they've drilled a hole. You can't see it. It doesn't affect the aesthetic of the cup itself but it's just to make sure you don't drink out of it because I think some of the materials that coat the metal aren't good if ingested but yeah it's stunning it's one of my favorite pieces hence why it's so far up the top 10 and it's just beautiful I wish I was a Hufflepuff but my mum is so that's okay but yeah I, I just love it look it looks so looks expensive and I like it and it's just it's beautiful quality it's definitely one of the highest quality pieces of Harry Potter stuff that I have and 
just makes me happy. So yeah, this is number four, the Hufflepuff cup. Imagine having like a whole room full of these, like in the Gringotts vault, just, just because. We're now moving on to my top three, which is where you know things are gonna get good. Now, the next piece I've shown so much, and a lot of you guys are gonna be really sad because you still can't get it, and you're probably never gonna be able to get it anymore. This is my advanced potion making book by Alarm 18, and you can buy replicas of this book of just the case, um, the cover. I did see them on eBay, and it looks exactly like this, but the only trouble with the ones that you can get off eBay is that they're just blank notes pages inside. This one is not. This one looks like I've snatched it out of Ron's hand in potion making class. Um, or Harry's actually. This, this one was Harry's wasn't it? Yeah so this is a full book with all of the pages and they're all different pages as well. They're not replicated so it's not like one page that's filling the whole book. It has like um, ingredients that you can use in potions like there has there's so many different ingredients to look through and they have all of the different potions with the instructions and the equipment that you need for each one. It's just this is like one of my most special pieces in my collection just because they don't sell these and it blows my mind and it blows my mind because it's like why haven't Warner Brothers made replicas of all of the books or in the films? You know, there's so many that they could make. It's, uh, yeah, so a bit sad about that but very happy that I'm the owner of one of these. So yeah, this is number three. Um, it's just glorious. There's nothing bad that I can say about it. It even looks used, which, oh, it's just great. It's just great. Moving on up to number two. So this piece, you guys, you, you're gonna recognize it. I wear it all the time. In fact, you may be wondering, Trey, why are you not wearing your time turner today? Ha! Huh. Um, this is my number two because it's my most worn piece, it's my most loved piece, and I just love it so much. So yeah, this is Hermione's Time Turner. So many of you guys ask, where did you get your Time Turner from? Because it's so pretty. This is from Noble Collection, and I think it was about 40 pounds, approx. I'll leave the links down below. This was actually bought for me as a gift from my best friend, I think one Christmas or birthday, but I wear this so much. I practically wear it in every single video. Um, in fact, I really miss wearing it today. I feel a bit nude without it. I feel like I'm missing a piece of my soul. So yeah, this had to be number two just because it's my favorite thing that I just, treasure and it work well it doesn't work it doesn't make me go back in time that would be awesome but it spins the mechanics of it is great it works it has sand in the middle it's really nice quality i believe that you can buy a really expensive one of these that's like actual gold or gold plated at least but Oh, I just love it. So if you're wondering where i got this from and you would like your very own time turner which is like the best one that you can get because there's so many different time turners out there and some of them you can get for like five pounds but they're just they won't be as good as this one let me tell you i will leave the link so you can get your very own down below and i just love it i love it so much i know this whole video is just me like i love it but you know <laughs> i'm talking about the harry potter things that i love so it's gonna happen and i bet you've been wondering oh what's gonna be number one some of you may have guessed it if you know what my shelves look like and what merch i have this was probably my most expensive piece of Harry Potter merch besides my Niffler but that's like Fantastic Beasts merch. Yeah so out of Harry Potter merch this is the most expensive piece that I got. It's also from Noble Collection. Um, I'll link it down below. It was a treat to myself. One time I went to the studio tour, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself and boy did I treat myself. Yeah so it comes in this box with a eagle on the front, that's right. Even though it's called Ravenclaw, it is not a raven. So many people try and argue that with me, but it's an eagle, trust me. So yeah, this is the box that it comes in and you open it and holy moly, look at that. That's right, this is Rowena Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem. I believe at the time I bought this, it was about 120 pounds and I love the case that it comes in and I just love the piece itself. It just feels like this 
here in my hands is the actual lost diadem. This once belonged to Rowena Ravenclaw. Um, I mean, it's not wearable. <laughs> Imagine if it was, I would wear this all day, every day. You can kind of like position it in a way that it will stay on your head, but it's quite difficult to do. And I wouldn't really recommend it because these ends are quite sharp, but oh, Oh, imagine wearing this for like your wedding day, just be like, hi, how extra would that be? So yeah, this is 100% my top favorite piece out of my Harry Potter collection so far, because as I said, it's always growing. It's just so pretty. And every time I saw this, I was just like, oh, I need it in my life. And you know what? I just took the plunge. I just did it. I spoiled myself and I had zero regrets, let me tell you. So what do you guys think about my top one favorite Harry Potter piece from my collection? I would love your like thoughts and stuff. So yeah, we have come to the end of this video. I feel like I wanna keep showing you things. It's like, oh, look at this. But no, sadly, that is the end of this video. Let me just put this baby down. The majority of my favorite things are from Nova Collection. Some of them are from the tour and some of them are from just random places. But if they are still available at any of these places, I will leave links down below so that you can get them yourself if you are interested or you want to buy them for a friend. But yeah, oh, I just love everything to do with Harry Potter. I know some people are just like, ugh, why are you wasting your money on that stuff? But you know, you just gotta do what makes you happy and Harry Potter things and collectibles, they just fill me with so much joy. Next on my wish list that I am desperate for is the Slug Horn Hourglass. Might treat myself around my birthday, which is coming up in April, April 15th, if you're wondering. And I also really want the Gryffindor sword still, but I think I might not get that until I have a house and somewhere to put it. But I definitely want the hourglass. That's just gorgeous. So yeah, let me know what are your favorite pieces that you have. What's your favorite Harry Potter thing that you own and just love that fills you with happiness? I would absolutely love to know. And if you are watching this and for some reason don't like Harry Potter or you don't collect Harry Potter things, what is your favorite thing that you own that's from a fandom? I would love to know. I, I just, yeah, let's, let's have a conversation. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my very next video. If you're wondering why I'm wearing like the same top as one of my unboxings recently. It's because this has been filmed on the same day. I'm not just like wearing the same top, but no one cares. No one cares. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon and yeah, bye. <laughs>